I'm now going to cover the topic of how to align a satellite dish. In this case here, we're dealing with a, a Sky Zone 2 satellite dish, which would be suitable, for instance, for use with a free-to-air system, or indeed for Sky, or um, th this particular model here has a quad LMB in it, so there's actually four outputs on it. So you could use it for a multi-room, or we'll say a FreeSat Plus or a Sky Plus install that would take two feeds. So we can see already, we've actually mounted the bracket onto the wall, which we, we did in a previous video. And the next thing we're going to do is, if I just turn this around here, and just show on the back of the dish, we have these U-bolts here, which we're going to actually use to mount this satellite dish onto the wall. Okay? So you can see it here, these are going to slide onto the bracket. So what I might do is, I'll just quickly discuss here, we have these tools here, which we're basically going to be using, which is a 10 millimeter socket, and also a 13 millimeter socket, and this um, ratchet here as well, okay? So what I might do is just the very um, start of this, just get my hands free, what I'm actually just gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, mount this here. Now we, we, we've mounted this bracket onto the wall in the position that's facing, um, in general, juice out. So I'm just gonna rotate this around so you can see it. So what I've done is we simply sli slid this bracket, or the satellite dish, the U-bolts go onto this here, and I'm gonna grab this 10 millimeter socket here, and I'm just going to use my hand to tighten it on. And uh, what we'll do is might just yeah, might just slide it up slightly higher there. Just rotate it around like that. So when this bracket is mounted on the wall, it actually gives a full 180 degrees rotation. Now all satellites are located over the equator. So in all cases in the northern hemisphere, you want to have your satellite dish pointing south. Uh, so we can just see here, and um, we'll just zoom back a little bit, but the range that I have on this satellite dish is I have it here, which is pointing directly east, and I can rotate it all the way around, a full 180 degrees here, and be pointing exactly west, okay? But it's generally in the south direction. Now, the, the Astro 2 satellite, if you're in Ireland, and as much the same in the UK, it's at basically 142 degrees. So, uh, more or less southeast is the direction we need to point. So, when we come along to actually align this dish, well, what choice do we have in terms of uh, meters, etc.? Well, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to look down at the table uh, tier here, and we have three different types of satellite meters here. We have this meter here, which is um, comes with a little power unit on it. There's two inputs on it, and this is uh, one simply that allows you to do both the UHF and VHF uh, alignment. So if you put in something like a combi box, it'll be ideal. You have a very, very simple uh, satellite-only meter that we see here. It just has a little lead on it there as well, okay? And then we have a full professional uh, smart S10 satellite meter. And this is what people in the um, satellite industry would use. If you're doing hundreds of installs a year, of course you want to have a top quality meter. But for the general DIY installing, this small meter here would be sufficient. Now, if you're, if, if you're in a situation where you're using um, the professional meter, the meter has a battery in it, it has a whole range of different satellites, so it makes the installing very simple. And you can do it totally independent of the satellite receiver. But if you're using, the, say, the simple DIY meter here, you're also going to need to have a television like this, a pre-programmed box. Now, it's essential that it's pre-programmed with the channels for the Astro 2. And what we do is we run, we connect this with a SCART lead, or a HDMI lead, up to the television, and then we run a cable from the back of it here. So we'll see on the back of it, it actually says LNB in. Okay, so a cable is running there, and this cable, the far end, is going to connect onto the satellite meter, and it'll give power to the satellite meter. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to use this one here as an instance, and we'll come along, and we'll actually, um, if we look in the back of this, one side say, says two Rex, which means receiver, and the other side says two LNB. So this side here we wish to connect to the satellite dish, and this side we're going to connect to the satellite receiver. So for ease of this video, I'm just using push-on F connectors here. So when we push this in, we'll see immediately, if you can focus in, the little light comes on inside it, okay? And what we'll do here is, we have a little, um, we have this same lead on the far side that'll let this connect onto um, a satellite dish here, okay? So what I'll actually do is I'll just screw this uh, cable on here, like this. And what we're going to do here is, uh, we're just simply going to come along and we're just going to push it onto this. Any one of these ports will do equally well, okay? So we push it on like that. Now we have an ability here to adjust, we'll say, the signal strength on this. So what we can do here is we have it set at its lowest setting, but I can turn this up here at quite a high level. So just adjust this over here. And at a certain point, you'll hear it beeping. So what we're doing is, 
we're making it less and less sensitive until it gets to a point where you can hear quite a loud sound of it. And also we'll say what you're going to be dealing with then is you're going to be dealing with um, a situation then where you know the satellite dish is not particularly well aligned initially, but um, unless you're extremely lucky. But what you're going to be doing is you're going to be adjusting this. And also if you have a television in a nearby location, you can be looking and see if you have a picture. So you can see that we have no picture at this point. So if you want to know then, we'll say how, what way you want to have the dish, uh, there's two ways you can adjust this dish. And I'll just get you focused back in on the satellite dish again. So there's two ways we can do this. We have the, the angle of direction we're going to have it pointing at, and we adjust this by actually adjusting this. I'm just going to turn down this volume here. Um, so we have this, so we can adjust the angle at which the dish is pointing, but we can also adjust the elevation angle on the dish by actually adjusting these here. Now what I'd normally do at this point is, I'd use something like either my eye or um, just um, something like a spirit level. And what we want is, we want to have the dish almost totally vertical. Now, the, the satellite dish that we're aiming at is actually at an angle of elevation of 21 degrees. But because of some very cl clever design work by Sky Engineers, the dish looks like, uh, um, the, because of the carb on it, a vertical mounting is exactly what we want, okay? So what I try to do is I try to uh, tighten this in quite tightly at this point and know that a, a, an entirely vertical um, perpendicular thing is what I want and then I focus my main attention on uh, just adjusting this, right? So what I'm going to do at this point here is I'm just going to turn this sensitivity back up a little bit. So if I turn it all the way up to the very top, it's no good, but we want to turn it down a little bit there where we're maybe halfway along the meter thing and hopefully what will happen then is as we bring it more and more into focus, as we adjust the satellite dish and become closer to the signal, the beeping will become louder and also the signal strength will go up slightly, okay? So what we're going to do here is I'm just going to ro rotate this. You can hear that now, it's coming louder and louder. And what we're actually doing is we can turn the sensitivity down lower and lower then to get the fine adjustment and do the final tipping over and back. But if we look over actually at our TV screen at this point, what we can see here is that we've actually, um, uh, we've got the picture up here now, okay? So what we could do at that point is we could use something like uh, the information button on the remote control. We could simply press it and find out what signal strength we have and continue to adjust it over and back, over and back. But you can see how advantageous it is to have both the television and the satellite meter nearby. Now, if it isn't practical to do this, we'll say, even at the setup stage, you can have a second person telling you if there's a signal or not and give you an indication. So at this point, what I would do is I would come along and I would get my 10 millimeter socket here. Now you might need to go behind me actually for this part of the filming here. But we'll just use the ratchet here and what I want to make sure is I'm not blocking the signal by leaning over the dish when I'm doing this. And we just come along, I'll put the ratchet in here and we would just tighten it in. And when you're tightening it in, what you want to make sure is maybe do two or three turns here, two or three turns on the bottom part here, but in diagonals, okay, do the movements. Over here again and here. Now when we're tightening it in, we don't want to over tighten it. If we actually over tighten at this point, what can actually happen is we could push these flanges to move upwards and just slide along the bar and never actually tighten. So we want to tighten to a certain point but not over tighten. And we repeatedly do it. And we're constantly listening for the beep there, making sure the signal is remaining strong and looking back and checking that we still have signal on the television here, okay? Now an important thing to do on this is not just to go and look at the very strong channels like the BBCs, but if we went and we looked at channels, we'll say like Euronews, which is on a, a neighboring satellite that comes in, we'll say, on all the free channels and things like that. It's on, uh, the signal on it will generally be slightly weaker. So as I go through, what I'm doing at this point here, you might find initially that the BBCs and the Sky News has come in, but the Euroboard or Tiny Pop or um, some of those things, True Movies, they're a slightly weaker signal. So maybe just flick to those channels as we go through and make sure that we have good clear signal on those as well. So um, what we can see here is we, it'll be just a little bit further down the list there, but we can just go through and um, uh, Euronews there, for example. And we can see there that that's working as well. So that's quite a good indication. So uh, just coming back quickly here, I'm just going to disconnect at this point here, just because uh, we'll live without it. Um, if we were using this um, the S10 satellite meter, our life here is a lot simpler because all we do is we simply turn on the satellite meter like this. Now uh, it's um, screen contrast in this is important. And what we do is we'd simply go in here 
and would go and would select the Astra satellite we want, so Astra 2 here, and would pick the particular, particular transponder we needed. So I'll just give one quick demonstration of this, which is I'll just push in this cable here, like this, and I'll grab the other end and I'll just connect it to the satellite dish, which is here. So you can see quite a strong signal coming through. And we'll actually have an option on this. If we go for the F2 option here, we just go OK, yes, to free to air only channels. And what we'll be able to do now is hopefully, we actually can look at the channels on the thing. So with no television, anything like that on it. Now, if you're a dedicated DIYer, a satellite meter like this is fantastic for the job. But the price differential is maybe 10 or 12 euros as opposed to maybe over 400 for a meter like this, which is absolutely fantastic. But you need to be able to justify it, you know. So that's it anyway. Hopefully people will find uh, this a, a fairly useful overview of how to align the satellite dish.